guys I bought plants so I've been doing really really good and I haven't really been buying any plants but then I bought some plants honey I'm addicted to the strings okay I'm addicted to the string of hearts because like I said before what the I know you lying. I know you lying. Okay, that's just, that's dirt. <laughs> I was about to say, I know, because I had y'all under quarantine. I had y'all under quarantine, so how that going to be a bug? This leaf about to go anyway. But with that being said, I'm just so excited because we found the variegated one. So the place that I went to, um, it's in Lutz. It's called Dungeons, and they have the most beautiful like little fairy plant section and when i say the fairy plant section it's like the plants that come in these these little what is this two or three ounce containers oh but overall they have a really beautiful plant section they have <clears throat> indoor plants shrubs um trees for like your your property uh they have like little tiny plants hanging baskets pots like just the whole shebang okay incredible so I've been going there for about a year since one of my coworkers put me on to, it, to them. And I am absolutely obsessed with their plants. So I ended up getting a total of 13 plants that day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's, okay, there's more in here than what I'm seeing. <laughs> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Something, something. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my pictures because this math is not math and honey. I don't think my boyfriend took any of my, my plants, but hmm, something ain't right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe I bought 12 plants. Yes, I bought 12 plants. That's what it was. Okay, so we I'm about to say my math ain't mathing. But let me show y'all what I bought because I'm excited. Last year, um, they had string of everything. So they had string of hearts. Don't you do that? They had string. Oh my God, I done lost the leaf. See, this Jesus, Lord, help the children. Start with me. Start with me, Jesus, because that's all I'm asking for. So they had string of everything last year. They had string of hearts, string of pearls, string of turtles. I bought them all. My string of pearls died. I bought them again. They died again. So I said, I'm not going to do it no more. So string of, per string of pearls as of now is out of my life. I will not be getting string of pearls again. But string of hearts, I'm going to buy them all, honey. Because I, listen, I'm going to do a little close up so y'all can see because I'm addicted to the string of hearts now. I got one, two, three, right? One, two, three. Then I have a big basket upstairs. Then I have propagations from those baskets because I wanted to you know, make the, the cuttings, um, the plant look a little bit better. And when I went to the store and I saw these, I said, well, how can I not bring you home? How? Why? So, and this have this has grown. This has grown in two weeks, honey, because it wasn't like it when I bought it. <laughs> it was not like this when I bought it. And I'll insert a video here that I took and I sent it to my friend. Like, yo, am I tripping? Because I know when we when we picked these out, that they did not have all this new growth. And what I did not realize in that video is that the plant a week later was already having blooms. It was having blooms, y'all. They fell off now, but it was it was getting some blooms. And I was like, oh my goodness. That's why it's good to take pictures of your plants and videos because sometimes you don't see stuff while you're just looking at them. But a video, it'll let you know. So the the little um, string of hearts, they were the regular ones. I think they were five ninety nine, right? This is my pot that I put it in. Now the variegated one, when we went there last year, we asked them to get variegated string of hearts, and they finally got them. And the variegated one was basically twelve dollars. This is a two inch pot, and look at it but look at all the new growth so all of this light green on the end when we bought them they did not have that and right now I, I keep them on the ledge so you see right there that's one of my string of hearts that's right there and that's the pot for the one that's in my hand right now but this is a south facing window and I put them on the shelf to the bottom this bottom shelf and they have been doing so freaking great like amazing i've literally went through probably 11 
be anywhere between nine to 11 of each of the string of things. Not the string of turtles. I've been doing pretty good on those. String of hearts, string of pearls, variegated string of pearls. Kill them, dead. Now, this plant, I cannot remember the name of this plant, but if you guys know the name of this plant, put this in the comments down below because I can't remember it off the top of my head. And I have another one back there and I'll show you guys a close up of it. When I got it, it was literally like this, but it's been growing like crazy. And that's one of the plants that I use in the backdrop for my pictures for my website. And going back and looking at the still pics on my website, compared to where it is now, it is like literally starting to climb up my plant wall and I love it. Um, another plant that I got was this. This is a lipstick plant and I love this because I, well, I saw this in a big hanging basket um, last year and we actually bought it, my friend, the same friend, we went down to I think it was Roots or something down in St. Pete and we saw this basket and we fell in love and we ended up going half on it but it lived at her house and she told me that it didn't make it when we went to the plant store she told me that it did not make it I believe this one was $2.99 so they have like a little fairy section where a lot of the plants range from $2.99 to $5.99 and then once you start getting into like the variegated they go up stuff like that and then I was able to get me a little cutting of a Mikan's and this was six dollars so $5.99 and I think this was a really good this this is a really good cutting I am going to put um some of these into ponds so I'm definitely putting this into pond and I'm putting the lipstick plant into pond um I don't know. I'm iffy about these because they've been doing really good in soil. And I'm like, I might just let y'all be. Might just let y'all be. Now, I did have to get something for my boyfriend. I can't go and buy all those plants for um, myself and not get something for him. I'm going to cut this off. So this is Alocasia Tiny Dancer, and it was only $7.99. Um, these plants, I know like they're very reactive to light, like they love sunlight. So you just have to be careful where you're placing them because they will start to pull towards wherever the sunlight is. So like even this one, I feel like it's starting to get a little bit leggy. So I probably need to get it some more sunlight from right above. That way it's not stretching out to reach to the sun. Right now I have it on the other side of my room, on the floor in front of my south facing window next to my other allocation that's just over here dancing honey i know y'all probably like okay the math is still not mathing because you said you bought 12 or 13 plants those two plants in the background that those were the ones i bought as well i bought them too <laughs> and the funny thing is i already had both of these plants at home but they were in a hanging basket and I knew that I wanted to stake them up so I was like okay well if these are already staked up and they like a couple bucks less I might as well buy these and take the other ones back. And that's what I did. So one of the other plants that I bought, and it's upstairs, I'm not going to go get it. It was, man down. <laughs> I did decide to come upstairs and show you guys. <laughs> oh, it's pitiful. It is pitiful. But I'm going to try to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out. Listen, what is going on on these leaves? See, that's the thing about sphagnum moss. It always freaks me out sometimes because I think the little flecks are, are pests. But yeah, this is the uh, little pitcher plant that I purchased. And I don't think pitcher plants are going to be for me. So we're going to see how it turns out. But y'all, that was my little plant haul. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And I am definitely going to start working on my next video because let me tell y'all we're gonna have a plant room update because it's been going crazy up in here like a damn jungle look at this <sighs> see y'all in the next video